Staying ready for the unknown, man. Today, that's what we're going to talk about. Staying ready for the unknown. Staying ready so you don't have to get ready. That's very, very, very important, man. How many of us wait to the last minute to do something and now we just ran out of time instead of we knew what we had to do at the beginning of the week and we didn't start right then? So that's what we got to start doing, man. It's just preparing yourself for an opportunity that presents itself in life. No matter what that opportunity is, you just preparing yourself to be ready. Now, granted, you're never going to be 100% ready for everything because we don't have a book that tells us what's going to happen next. But you can put yourself in the best situation ever to succeed at everything you do by just simply staying ready, man. That's all you simply have to do. And one of the main things that you can do to stay ready is having that flexibility that you can face change. That is so important because in life, man, the only thing we guarantee to have is constant movement. Anything in our life is going to constantly move. Constantly move. Whether it's constantly growing, constantly shrinking, it's going to move in some way, shape, form, or fashion, man. So we got to be able to keep up with that no matter if it's our career, no matter if it's family. So many things happen, man, that we have to endure in life, and we're just expected to just keep moving. And it's not easy, man. I'm not going to sit here and just tell you it's easy to do, but it's ways that we can go about to try to help us cope with it. Next, building resilience. Because like I said, if you're trying to cope with it, man, you got to have a certain type of level of resilience it's just simple man you got to be able to just weather the storm sometimes not every time some stuff is going to hit you harder than others but most of the times you got to just be able to weather that storm and build that resilience you got to be able to know that man it's something out there that you don't know is going to happen so when it happens you have to be ready to just go through it if you play football we had that pad drill i played d-line we had that pad drill Ugh. You got to be ready to just hit it, attack it, move it, shop. You got to be able to do those things, man, because resilience is not just the ability to recover from setbacks, but it's also the ability to face adversity. So that's very, 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 very important. And the ability to thrive through them as well. So, man, get ready, stay ready. Build that resilience and let's get it. Goes back to the first step, man. We have to embrace uncertainty. Let's start embracing it. We don't know what may happen. That's why it's important to do everything in your life consistently, man. Think about it. If something happens and you get hurt, now you got to go through therapy. But you haven't been working out, so it's hard for you. Because you haven't been working out, so your bones were already weak anyway. Your body was already weak anyway. Now you're even weaker, and now you have to build yourself up from, like, below normal. And that's hard because you don't even have that dedication to work when you're healthy. So now you're weak, and it's even harder to work. Or saving money. It's all good when everything is going good in life. And we just act like life is on a smooth sailing, like it's not going to be any bumps in the road. How many of you all went on a road trip and had no bumps on the road, no accidents along the way, no toll poles? It's not many I went through that it just was a smooth ride, nothing happened, no traffic jams, nobody else on the road, nobody that I almost had to cuss out because they janked in front of me like these are things that happen all the time man they happen all the time so you got to be able to embrace that uncertainty and just prepare for the unknown because think about it if you're defensive driving you're preparing yourself for someone to jump over in your lane so now when someone jumps over in your lane you're not shocked because you expected that to happen if you're saving money you're saving emergency funds for in case an emergency happens. So now that an emergency happens, guess what? You are there, you saved that money. Now you can save yourself. 
Say that money so that money can save you. Say the money so the money can save you. So you're doing all those things to put yourself in that position to save yourself. And that's all that is about, man. Saving yourself, man. Because honestly, man, if you don't have you, who else is going to save you nine times out of ten? Not too many people, man. So you got to be able to be prepared to take advantage of that problem. And just fight through it. And come out on top, man. Next step. Learning that, man, opportunities are often unpredictable. Honestly, opportunities are often unpredictable. So let me put myself in this equation for a second. This year, I had three, three opportunities pop up for me and i was ready for all three of them because in my life i've been working so hard to just stay ready because i know what i want to do i know a potential it's just staying consistent so when that happens it happens so for the first one it was with my business taking pictures i went viral I had to book a lot of people. If I wasn't ready to edit and work hard this prom season, I wouldn't be able to handle that. But at the beginning of the prom season, I already knew my talent. So I knew the possibility of that happening. And I already had prepared myself to be ready to make that happen. Another one was a career opportunity that I knew that if the chance presented itself, I could possibly go one way. But guess what? That change presented itself, I knocked it out of the park, but I didn't go that way. The next one was another career opportunity, but guess what? This one was very easy as well because I already knew everything that came with it. I already prepared myself for this moment for a long time, for like over four years. So when this opportunity presented itself, man, I shot everybody. So look, man, stay ready, stay focused and get it done. Let's start managing our stress and anxiety as well because think about it. If you can't control your emotions, what can you really control? Someone can just control you, honestly, because you're just an emotional wreck if you think about it. If you can't control your emotions and just let logic take over, you're dangerous because you would do something all because you were in your feelings, and that's not good. You're the type of person that will blow it all. You will lose the bag. You will fumble the bag all because you got in your feelings. You got to learn how to control those feelings. Very important to control those feelings at all times. Control those feelings. When you know that you got the internal resources to handle what comes with uncertainty and to be able to face challenges, man. That creates a new sense of control for you. And that unlocks a new level for you. So just keep doing that because you can alleviate any anxiety that you may have and improve all your mental well-being. So just keep that going, man. Keep building that strong foundation all the time, man. Keep growing. Keep your personal growth and evolution alive, man. Just think about it. When you're in the unknown, that is where growth happens. Without challenges, man, have you really grown? If your life was just smooth sailing, you never had any bumps in the road, you never faced adversity, did you really grow? You probably never grew. Because we we tend to grow as humans when we face adversity, when we see events that we didn't predict. Think about it. You had to miss out on some opportunities to know that it was a loss. Because before, you probably chose to not do it and you didn't know it was that important. But now you do, man, and that's a chance to evolve. So I always think of everything like that. I got another video about that as well, man. We don't take L's for losses. We take L's for lessons, man. Just keep that, man. Keep growing, keep learning, keeping your mental flexible, man. Keep planning for emergencies. Build that supportive network to help you as well. And just keep a growth mindset, man. All in all, man, just stand ready. 
So you don't have to get ready, man. Staying ready for the unknown is simply about developing your mental and emotional well-being, man. Sharpening your tools to embrace uncertainty with confidence. Knowing that you can adapt, learn, and grow no matter what comes your way, man. That is powerful, man. That's you. That is you. That's your life, man. That's the life that you stepped in, man. Let's keep growing, man. Let's keep getting better. Let's keep getting better. Look. Stay ready. For the unknown, baby. <laughs> All right, family. Look. I love y'all. See y'all next time, man. Remember. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I'm out.